Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot, started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful on uh, Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Brooklyn Hicks, number 33, guard. Blair Nugent, 42, forward. Shelly McCoy, number 13, guard. Morgan Cook, number 14, guard. Megan Yearwood, number 11, guard. Kelsey Cummins, number 32, forward. Kylie Stewart, number 12, guard. Alexa Harvey, number 4, guard. Bailey Robertson, number 30, forward. Janie Amaya, number 25, guard. Cassie Moses, number 15, guard. Autumn Foster, number 22, guard. Abby Stewart, 35, left bench. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. Buy new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Thanks for watching Holy Clock TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, I'll give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Brooklyn Hicks, number 33, guard. Blair Nugent, 42, forward. Shelly McCoy, number 13, guard. Morgan Cook, number 14, guard. Megan Yearwood, number 11, guard. Kelsey Cummins, number 32, forward. Kylie Stewart, number 12, guard. Alexa Harvey, number four, guard. Bailey Robertson, number 30, forward. Janie Amaya, number 25, guard. Cassidy Moses, number 15, guard. Autumn Foster, number 22, guard. Abby Stewart, 35, left bench. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. Buy new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Thanks for watching Holy Clock TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. 
Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, I'll give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Brooklyn Hicks, number 33, guard. Larry Nugent, 42, forward. Shelly McCoy, number 13, guard. Morgan Cook, number 14, guard. Megan Yearwood, number 11, guard. Kelsey Cummins, number 32, forward. Kylie Stewart, number 12, guard. Alexa Harvey, number four, guard. Baylor Arborson, number 30, forward. Janie Amaya, number 25, guard. Cassidy Moses, number 15, guard. Autumn Foster, number 22, guard. Abby Stewart, 35, left bench. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. My new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Thanks for watching Holy Clap TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Brooklyn Hicks, number 33, guard. Larry Nugent, 42, forward. Shelly McCoy, number 13, guard. Morgan Cook, number 14, guard. Megan Yearwood, number 11, guard. Kelsey Cummins, number 32, forward. Kylie Stewart, number 12, guard. Alexa Harvey, number four, guard. Baylor Arborson, number 30, forward. Janie Amaya, number 25, guard. Cassidy Moses, number 15, guard. Autumn Foster, number 22, guard. Abby Stewart, 35, left bench. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. My new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. 
Thanks for watching Holy Clack TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, I'll give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Brooklyn Hicks, number 33, guard. Larry Nugent, 42, forward. Shelly McCoy, number 13, guard. Morgan Cook, number 14, guard. Megan Yearwood, number 11, guard. Kelsey Cummins, number 32, forward. Kylie Stewart, number 12, guard. Alexa Harvey, number four, guard. Bailey Robertson, number 30, forward. Janie Amaya, number 25, guard. Cassidy Moses, number 15, guard. Autumn Foster, number 22, guard. Abby Stewart, 35, left bench. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you here at Rankin Williams Fieldhouse on the campus of Southwestern Oklahoma State University. Due to the pipes bursting at Weatherford's home gym, the remaining games of this season were until they can get it fixed, which will be some time. We will be here at Rankin Williams Fieldhouse, the former home of the Southwestern Oklahoma State University Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. They are now playing at the Pioneer Cellular Center, but this is where a lot of action has happened. This is where Southwestern has played for many years. It's a great environment, a great gym. This place can get really loud, really quick, and Weatherford will look to use that to their advantage. We are sponsored today by More Than Medicine. Look for them for our timeouts. Get your scripts from Mike Smith. Also, Hudson Technology Solutions. Stay tuned after the game, after the final second ticks off for the Hudson Technology Solution Player of the Game. Also, we'd like to thank Ben Schwarmers, Piscinas, and The Point. Thank you guys for tuning in each and every time we are live for the Weatherford Lady Eagles and Weatherford Eagles basketball. So as we get started, some keys to the game. Well, pretty simple. Play your game, Weatherford. The Lady Eagles, if they play their game, they get up and down the court. They can get Alexa Harvey involved in the offense. And as, as we, last time I talked with Bailey Robertson, the offense flows through her. She will play at the top of the key and she will get the ball pass, out pass around the perimeter, get her on some pick and pops, and also the offensive rebounds. Bailey Robertson is such a huge key. She may not be the leading scorer, but the offense has got to go through her. Now, Mount St. Mary, have we seen it before? I don't know a whole lot about them. What I did research on Max Sports, or on Max Prep, they look to be a, a, a pretty decent team, a good athletic team, and they also can be pretty physical. And Weatherford is a good matchup for them, and we will see the tip will go to the Lady Rockets of Mount St. Mary's as we get started, and she did not see the pass coming. That's Young. Picks up a dribble, tries to go inside, stolen by Kelsey Cummins, and she will kick out to Kylie Stewart, who fires it down to Bailey Robertson, tries to go inside, tipped out of bounds. So Weatherford will have it underneath the basket near side baseline. On the floor for your Lady Eagles, Alexa Harvey, Kylie Stewart, who has the ball down low, puts it up and misses. 
but Kelsey Cummins is right there for the rebound. Jump ball called. Possession will be Lady Eagles, and again, they'll take it out. Exact same spot as the last inbound. Bailey Robertson to inbound. She'll find Alexa Harvey right under the basket and puts it up and in, and Weatherford's off to a 2 nothing lead. So to go back, Alexa Harvey, Kylie Stewart, Bailey Robertson, Kelsey Cummins, Brooklyn Hicks, you're starting five. Three seniors who are looking to take this team to state this year. Alexa Harvey, Bailey Robertson, Kylie Stewart. These girls are good. These girls are leaders. They're team players. They play hard, high motors, and they like to get in passing lanes like you just saw Alexa Harvey to the rim, puts it up and rolls off. Now what you will see here in Rankin Williams Fieldhouse, these rims are very stiff, not a lot of give. So you're gonna have to be pretty accurate on your shots and layups because you're not gonna get a whole lot of help from the rim here in Rankin Williams Fieldhouse. So here's Richard and she will pass to Cochran who Puts it up, and there's Bailey Robertson again to Alexa Harvey. Alexa Harvey will go, puts her body in, puts it up, and they're going to get a foul on Richard. And a good job from Alexa Harvey to draw the foul on her way to the rim. Two shots coming for the Bulldog. First shot on the way. It is up. It is in. So one thing that the uh, Lady Eagles are going to have to do and also the boys is get used to this gym. Same thing that they had to do at the Pioneer Cellular Center. It takes a little while when you're you're not in your home gym. You got to get used to it. Get used to the rim. Get used to the glass. Everything is different. It's the same height on the goal. It's the exact same dimensions on the backboard. Same thing from three. Everything is the same, but the environment changes your perspective when you're shooting, and the feel is completely different when you change venues. And it'll be interesting to see how long it's going to take for the Weatherford Lady Eagles to find their stroke. Ball goes out of bounds, and it will be Mount St. Mary's ball. Underneath the basket, far side baseline, taking it out is Young, or excuse me, Richard, and she will get it right back, puts it up, no good, but a rebound. Another offensive board right into Kinsey, who puts it up off of the back of the rim. No good. Kylie Stewart there for the board, and she will bring it up, being harassed, and the referees are not going to allow a whole lot of contact early on. Weatherford leading three to nothing, so, I mean, that was physical play, and the referees are trying to establish how this game is going to go early and often. Kylie Stewart turns around right there is Kinsey, and she will get it, goes up, and Kylie Stewart with a bit of a frustration foul on the block, and that'll be two shots for Young. On the floor for the Lady Rockets, Young, Richard, Kinsey, Cochran, and Burley. Briarly, excuse me. I couldn't read my own handwriting. <laughs> First shot on the way, it is good. First points for the Lady Rockets. Weatherford still leading by two, three to one. Just under six minutes remaining here in the first period. Two team fouls for the Lady Rockets, one for Weatherford. Second shot on the way and it rattles around and it'll find its way through the bottom of the net and it's a one point lead for the Lady Eagles. Mount St. Mary's has a full court press on and here come the Lady Eagles. Kelsey Cummins gets it to Alexa Harvey who puts it up and cannot get it. Bailey Robertson will get the board, kicks it out. Kylie Stewart thought about the three. She will defer to Cummins. Cummins kicks back up to Robertson. Robertson picking up her dribble will find Alexa Harvey on the far side. Kylie Stewart will get it, resets the offense. Driving to her right, kicks Bailey Robertson for three. Knocks it down. It is good, Bailey Robertson. For three and Weatherford leads five to two, or excuse me, six to two. And right there, Kylie Stewart with another steal in the passing lane. Alexa Harvey goes up strong and drops it in. Alexa Harvey with the and one opportunity going hard to the rim and she will have a chance for an old fashioned three point play. Alexa Harvey playing really hard and we've got a timeout. Mount St. Mary's. It is a 30-second timeout. We will take a quick break. It's a more than medicine timeout. We'll be right back here. Holyclive.tv. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. 
Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tay with Tay with Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you here, Rankin Williams Fieldhouse on the Kelly Litch Court. If you have not had the privilege of watching some of Kelly Litch's highlights, do yourself a favor. The best ladies basketball player ever to come through Southwestern Oklahoma State University. And Alexa Harvey will connect on her and one opportunity. And Weatherford leads. And with the steal right there is McCoy, or excuse me, that is Kirby. They cannot convert. Bailey Pond puts it up. No good. Rolls out of bounds. Last to touch it. Mount St. Mary's, and it'll be Weatherford ball. So into the game is our freshman tandem. This is the first that, uh, substitution that you will see probably all season long from Clay Stevens, and that consists of Sarah Kirby, Bailey Pond, and Lyric Nugent. Here's Harvey, far side, guarded heavily by Young. Mount St. Mary in a man-to-man. -man. There's Kirby, gets it to Stewart. Stewart drives to her right, kicks out to Nugent. Nugent goes inside, jump stop, puts it up, and they're going to call it travel. Wow. Wow. Not the correct call. So Weatherford puts on a three-quarter press to counteract what Mount St. Mary's is doing. Young puts it up, tries to get her on board, and she does, and they're going to call double dribble going the other way. So some sloppy play early on here in the first period from both sides. Both teams like to play a fast-tempo ball game. Alexa Harvey will bring it up. She's trying to fight her off and will take it all the way to the rim. Misses. Kylie Stewart's there. She misses. Bailey Pond goes for the rebound, but it ricochets off of her knee out of bounds. Mount St. Mary's ball, and this game is lit, as the kids would say. So here's Young up top, Weatherford in the 2-3 zone. Up top, the two freshmen, Kirby and Pond. Lyric Nugent tries to jump in front of the pass. She does, but she has called for a foul in the process. That is her first personal, Weatherford's second team foul. Back into the game, Bailey Robertson and Brooklyn Hicks. Taking a seat, Alexa Harvey and Kylie Stewart getting a well-deserved rest with 4.09 remaining in the first period. Checking in for Mount St. Mary is number 20, Talbot. Also into the game is number 13, Martin. So here's Young. She will go up top to Kinsey. Back up top to Kinsey. She'll swing it around to Martin. Martin in the far side corner, has nowhere to go with it, will get it to Cochran. Swings it around to Kinsey for three, high arcing shot off of the back of the rim, no good. Fighting for it is Bailey Robertson and she gets it, looking for help as she is guarded by Young. Spins around and will find Brooklyn Hicks, a nice pass. And she was looking for the cutting pawn, or excuse me, Kirby. The Kirby stopped midway through the slash to the basket. Little miscommunication results in an out of bounds and it will be Mount St. Mary's ball. Here's Young, loses the hand on the ball, bodies on the floor. Here's Kinsey, swings it around. Cochran has it, shoots it. Uh, no good, rebound Robertson again, and she will push it up across half court. Long cross court pass to Pond. Kirby back to Robertson. High tempo ball game. Back to Robertson, and we're going to get a ball. Harvey and Cummins and Stewart back in, and Kirby is going to have to be more intentional with her passes. She's got to have crisp passes because this Mount St. Mary's team is good at getting into the passing lanes, and we've seen that with just 
little over halfway through the first period. You can see how tenacious the Lady Rockets are on defense. Young brings it up. Weatherford goes back to a 1-3-1. Bailey Robertson gets in the passing lane, saves it, pushes it up, and they're going to call a double dribble on Bailey Robertson. So it'll be Lady Rockets ball, far side sideline. 2.53 remaining in the first. Here's Young up top. She drives in, jump shot is up, no good. Rebound, Kylie Stewart had it, lost it. Here's Martin, she puts it up and in. Cuts the lead down to five. Robertson. Will defer to Alexa Harvey, who picks up her dribble. She's double teamed, but finds Kylie Stewart, who finds Brooklyn Hicks, who drives in, kicks out. Here's the shot up, knocks it in. Kelsey Cummins with the 18-foot jumper, and it is good. Nothing but net. Weatherford up 11 to 4. Bodies on the floor. Alexa Harvey gets it. And she will eventually be able to roll it out to Brooklyn Hicks, who's having some trouble. She had absolutely zero help. And if I'm Clay Stevens, that is one thing that I will be talking about at halftime. When one of your post players gets the ball in half court with the defense like this, go help her. You have to help her out. She is a banger. She's down low. She's in the paint. Dribbling is not her forte, and that is not her fault. She's a post player. That's what she does. First free throw is no good. Both teams at three team fouls apiece. Again, Weatherford leading 11-4, 159 remaining in the first period. Second shot on the way. It is no good as well. Lexa Harvey will bring down the rebound, and she will get to Bailey Robertson, who saves it right into Martin. And then a frustration foul from Bailey Robertson, and the Lady Eagles are allowing themselves to get rattled by this press defense. And all they have to do is stay calm. Checking into the game is Richard. Stepping out is Young, and that'll be her first break of the night, coming with 150 remaining in the first period. So here's Martin. She brings it up top to Cochran. Cochran swings it around to Martin. Martin for three, or excuse me, Cochran for three, and she puts it in. So here's Alexa Harvey. Drives in, kicks out Kelsey Cummins, and a charge called on Alexa Harvey. In the faces of these Weatherford Lady Eagles, they are frustrated, and there is no reason. If they stay calm, play their game, they're fine. They're allowing themselves to get drawn into Mount St. Mary's game, and it is working out to perfection for the Lady Rockets. Kelsey Cummins gets it, puts it up. Here's Alexa Harvey, who has a wide open layup, puts it up, drops it through. The Bulldog in full effect, 13-7 Weatherford leads. And we've got an offensive foul on Kinsey going the other way. It'll be Weatherford Lady Eagles ball. So Pawn, Nugent, Kirby checking into the game. Hicks, Robertson, and Cummins will take a seat. And this will be a, a test for the freshman tandem in Kirby and Pond as this defense is tenacious. Kirby does a great job, able to get it up to Harvey. Here's Nugent, puts it up, gets her on board, puts it back up, cannot get it. And ball will go out of bounds into the game is number 55 Allison for the Lady Rockets. So here's Pond. She will get it into Kylie Stewart. Kylie Stewart drives in, puts it up, fouled on her way. Two shots coming for number 12, Kylie Stewart. A smart play from the senior. Fouls 
Park shot on the way. It is good. So that'll give Weatherford a seven-point advantage with 46.4 seconds remaining in the first period with one more shot to come. Second shot on the way. It is good as well. Lady Eagles up by eight, and they're going to put on a three-quarter press. The two freshmen putting the defense on the Mount St. Mary's backcourt. They will get it across. Cochran has it, and that should be... I think since she had one foot in the back and one in the front, it didn't matter. So she goes up, fouled on her way as Talbot, so she will have two shots coming. And that is now Weatherford's sixth team foul. First shot on the way. It is no good, and the Lady Rockets have been struggling mightily from the charity stripe tonight. That has been killing them. They knocked down their shots, and this is a completely different ball game. Second shot on the way. No good as well, and Pond is there for the rebound, and she will have some difficulty getting it to Stewart. Stewart gets it to Harvey, back to Pond. Pond will kick it, and here is Kirby. Knocks it in! Foot was on the line. It was a long two, but a beautiful shot from the freshman. Eight seconds remaining. Here's Young, dribbles around, she will go up, puts it up. <laughs> and Clay Stevens has the exact same thought as I do, are you serious? She goes in there out of control, just throws the ball up, James Harden style, and gets the foul called. Down by 10, first foul shot is on the way. And it is good. Exactly three seconds remains in the first period. Second shot on the way. It is good as well. So Weatherford leads by eight. Two seconds left. Kylie Stewart heaves it up and does not get it. Had the distance, not the accuracy. And that will take us into the second quarter. Lady Eagles lead 17 to nine. Got a little bit rattled there midway through the first period, and then they started to gain some confidence back thanks to the freshmen and also some heady play from Alexa Harvey. We will be right back after the more of the medicine timeout. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back here in Rankin Williams Fieldhouse, HolyClap.tv. Thanks for watching Holy Clap TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you. As we get ready to start the second quarter, Weatherford leading by eight. This Mount St. Mary defense is tenacious. They do not stop. They are nagging. They are like gnats, mosquitoes. They are all over you at all times, borderline fouling you through the process, but not enough to where the whistle gets blown, and that can be very frustrating. And you saw the frustration on the Lady Eagles face, but they gained some composure and were able to end that quarter with a nice little run, and we'll see if that can carry over into the second period. Robertson kicks to Harvey. The original starting five is out on the court, goes into Robertson. She is fouled, and that'll be the sixth team foul. Weatherford has their seventh, so Mount St. Mary's, if they are fouled again, will get a one-and-one -one opportunity. Here's Hicks back to Robertson. Inside to Harvey. Harvey backs her down, puts it up, and a charge. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Alexa Harvey using her body to her advantage, which is one thing that she has in her toolbox. When she gets down low, she's able to muscle in and get the shot up, and they called a charge for using her hips. It's a good thing Shakira does I'm not even going to go there. I'm sorry. It's a really bad joke. 
Here's the shot, and it is no good. Alexa Harvey gets the board. She will get it up across half court, and a lob pass to Stewart. Blocked, but she is fouled. Two shots coming for Kylie Stewart, and I'm going to have to say that that's probably a bit of a makeup call because it looked like she got mostly ball on that. First of two on the way. It is good. Checking into the game, the other freshman of the freshman trio, J.C. Thomas. Shot on the way, it is good, so she knocks down both of them. Checking in for the Rockets is Briarly. And Young will take a seat on the floor for the Rockets. We have Allison, Talbot, Cochran, Briarly, and Richard. Here's Richard up top. Cochran up top. Here's Briarly with the shot, and she'll put it through. Score is 19 to 11. Weatherford is. Has a nice lead of eight. Here's Robertson, puts it up off the backboard, rolls around, drops it through the net. Bailey Robertson cutting to the basket, putting it up. Basketball gods let it roll, but drops it through the net. Weatherford leads by 10. Cochran up top. Back around to Richard to Briarly in the near side corner. They are content to pass around the perimeter. Looks inside, misses the handle on it. Bailey Robertson there to get the ball. And here is Brooklyn Hicks, drives baseline, kicks it back out. Brooklyn Hicks goes inside to Bailey Robertson who puts it up. She's blocked. And Bailey Robertson was the last person to touch it. And that was a good block from number 12, Briarly. That was a solid block. Just under six minutes remaining in the first half. Weatherford has a 10-point lead. Weatherford goes to a 3-2 zone. The freshman, Thomas, up top. Two seniors on the wings. Two seniors down low. Cochran for three. Shot is up off the back of the rim. Rebound Hicks. She will get it up to J.C. Thomas, who then gets it to Stewart, who gets her shot blocked, but she is fouled. Two more shots coming for Kylie Stewart. What a great pass from the freshman, J.C. Thomas. So both teams are now in the one-on-one -on -one bonus. First shot on the way, nothing but net. Knocks it through, 22-11 is your score. Thanks to those watching at Benchwarmers, Piscinas, and The Point. We always appreciate you guys all through football season and now through basketball as Kylie Stewart knocks down the second. Kenzie will check back in for the Lady Rockets taking a seat as Allison also coming on for Weatherford is Pond and Kelsey Cummins. And I believe Sarah Kirby. 2-1-2. Here's Cochran up top. Back to Richard. She will drive to her right. Kicks back out. Goes down low. This is Briarly. Takes too many steps. Gets called for the walk. And it'll be Lady Eagle Ball. And a bad decision from Kylie Stewart. And those are... Bad decisions you don't see too often from the senior. But Weatherford will retain possession. Guarded heavily by Richard. Dribbles around her back. Tries to put it up. So the defense from Richard rattles Kylie Stewart a little bit. Gets her to turn the ball over. It's Lady Rocket ball, and J.C. Thomas is keying in on Richard right now. 
Here's Cochran. Goes down low. Briarly puts the ball up. Cannot get it to go. Rebound Kelsey coming. She's hounded. But she will get it to Kylie Stewart. And Weatherford's going to have to get it across half court. They do. Here's Pond. Dribbles to her left. Here's Kirby. Kicks back out to Pond. To Thomas. Inside to Stewart. Stewart backs down. Kicks out. This is Kirby. Knocks it down. It is good. The freshman from the parking lot drops a three through the bottom of the net. Weatherford leads 26 to 11. Skip pass to Cochran. She will fire it up. Maybe got a little bit of the backboard, but that's it. Rebound. Sarah Kirby having a game as the freshman. Kylie Stewart will drive in, puts it up. Oh, that would have been sweet. Cannot get it to go. Fast break opportunity for the Lady Rockets. And they do not convert. They get the offensive board, put it up. Another offensive board. Sarah Kirby will strip the ball out, called for a foul. But the hustle from Sarah Kirby so far in this game has been outstanding. Could a freshman get their first player of the game nod? We shall see. Shot on the way, no good. And again, the Lady Rockets struggling from the line and that is keeping Weatherford in the lead, 26-11. Lyric Nugent checks in. On the floor, Brooklyn Hicks, Lyric Nugent, Bailey Pond, Bailey Robertson, and Sarah Kirby. Second shot on the way, it is no good as well. They are struggling from the line. Their defense is the only thing that is keeping them somewhat in this ball game. Here's Hicks, dribbles around, loses the handle on it. Fast break opportunity, and Bailey Pond will go up, and that's a good foul as she does not allow her to get the easy lay-in, and Mount St. Mary's with their struggles from the line, I would foul them just about any time they went up for a shot. First shot on the way, and it is no good. That is three consecutive missed free throws for the Mount St. Mary Lady Rockets. They are struggling from the charity strike. Second shot on the way, and it is good. They finally get one to drop. Just over three minutes to play in the first half. Weatherford leading 26-12. Here's Kirby, lost the handle on it, but she's able to tip it out to Robertson. Here's Hicks. She drives baseline, tries to throw it over to Kirby. Knocked out of bounds. It'll remain Weatherford Lady Eagle ball as they will inbound underneath the basket far side baseline. Kirby to inbound for the Lady Eagles. And she will find Pond up top. They get it back to Kirby. Here's Robertson far side. Inside to Nugent. Back out to Robertson. And here's Hicks for three. No good. Bailey Robertson had it. And Kirby came in and went for the ball as well and tipped it out of the hands of Robertson right into the hands of a Lady Rockets player. And it is now Mount St. Mary's ball. And here is a shot from deep. No good. Hicks will get the board. As she dribbles up, finds Robertson on the far side. Robertson will hand it back off to, to Hicks. Robertson picks up her dribble and a lazy bounce pass to Bailey Pond, and she is fouled hard, and that'll be a one-and-one -one opportunity. First of the one-and-one one for Pond. Shot is up, no good. Rebound Mount St. Mary's, and they will push it up on the far side. Wow, a lot of speed from Briarly. Martin with the skip pass to Richard. 
Back to Martin. Martin loses the handle on it. Bailey Robertson is right there. Here's J.C. Thomas, and she will have a wide open layup. Puts it up, drops it through. The freshman says, no big deal. I do this in my sleep, dropping a layup right through the bottom of the net. 28 to 12, Lady Eagles lead. Just over one and a half remaining in the first half. The Lady Rockets looking to get something going. A three. No good. Lyric Nugent with the board. And that is one Lady Eagle you do not want to mess with when you get inside the paint. She goes hard in the paint. Here's Kirby. And they're going to call her for a double dribble. She second-guessed herself. She was going to throw the pass and saw that Bailey Pond was a little bit more heavily guarded than she had anticipated. Barely put her hand on it, but enough for the ref to notice double dribble going the other way. Here's Richard with the jump shot up off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound Mount St. Mary's and they will put it in off the offensive rebound from Talbot, and she puts it right back up and in. 28-14 is your score. Robertson has it, directs traffic. Here's Pond to Nugent, up top. Nugent looking for Robertson, finds her. Robertson dribbling out to her left, finds J.C. Thomas, 30 seconds. Kirby. Backs out, resets the offense, finds J.C. Thomas, far side. Bailey Pond will get the ball up top, drives to her right, tries to go down low, and a bad decision, but a travel called after she corralled the loose pass. Shelly McCoy checking into the game for Bailey Robertson. And I think Stevens just wants to get her a breather before they go into halftime. Go back up top. This is Pond. Kicks out to J.C. Thomas. Five seconds. Here's McCoy to J.C. Thomas from deep. Oh, so close. And it looked like she had it. It was right on line. But she pulled from way deep. That would have been an amazing shot. But something tells me she's knocked those shots down in practice and we will be right back after the halftime the lady eagles leading 28 to 14. they withstand the pressure of the mount st mary lady rocket defense and they're able to gather themselves and push to a nice lead before they go in to halftime so remember to stay tuned after the game for the hudson technology solution player of the game again thanks to bench warmers Cena's and the point for tuning in to tonight's game. Stay tuned. Immediately after this game, we have the Weatherford Boys game coming right up here on HolyClap.tv. Do not go anywhere. We will be right back after the More Than Medicine timeout. Right here, HolyClap.tv, where anything can happen. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. My new roads. Thanks for watching Holy Clap TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, I'll give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. 
If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Brooklyn Hicks, number 33, guard. Larry Nugent, 42, forward. Shelly McCoy, number 13, guard. Morgan Cook, number 14, guard. Megan Yearwood, number 11, guard. Kelsey Cummins, number 32, forward. Kylie Stewart, number 12, guard. Alexa Harvey, number 4, guard. Bailey Robertson, number 30, forward. Janie Amaya, number 25, guard. Cassidy Moses, number 15, guard. Autumn Foster, number 22, guard. Abby Stewart, 35, left bench. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. Buy new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Thanks for watching Holy Clap TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Brooklyn Hicks, number 33, guard. Larry Nugent, 42, forward. Shelly McCoy, number 13, guard. Morgan Cook, number 14, guard. Megan Yearwood, number 11, guard. Kelsey Cummins, number 32, forward. Kylie Stewart, number 12, guard. Alexa Harvey, number 4, guard. Bailey Robertson, number 30, forward. Janie Amaya, number 25, guard. Cassidy Moses, number 15, guard. Autumn Foster, number 22, guard. Abby Stewart, 35, left bench. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. Buy new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Thanks for watching Holy Clap TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, give him all the credit for that. 
Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Brooklyn Hicks, number 33, guard. Larry Nugent, 42, forward. Shelly McCoy, number 13, guard. Morgan Cook, number 14, guard. Megan Yearwood, number 11, guard. Kelsey Cummins, number 32, forward. Kylie Stewart, number 12, guard. Alexa Harvey, number 4, guard. Bailey Robertson, number 30, forward. Janie Amaya, number 25, guard. Cassidy Moses, number 15, guard. Autumn Foster, number 22, guard. Abby Stewart, 35, left bench. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. Buy new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Thanks for watching Holy Clock TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, I'll give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Brooklyn Hicks, number 33, guard. Larry Nugent, 42, forward. Shelly McCoy, number 13, guard. Morgan Cook, number 14, guard. Megan Yearwood, number 11, guard. Kelsey Cummins, number 32, forward. Kylie Stewart, number 12, guard. Alexa Harvey, number 4, guard. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you. Mount St. Mary's will have the ball to start the second half. They trail the Lady Eagles 28 to 14. On the court for your Lady Eagles is the original starting five. Alexa Harvey, Bailey Robertson, three is up, no good. Rebound, Kelsey Cummins, jump ball to be weather for possession. So Alexa Harvey, Kelsey Cummins, Bailey Robertson, Kylie Stewart, and Brooklyn Hicks on the floor for the Lady Eagles. And one notice noticeable here's Hicks for three knocks it down it is good Brooklyn Hicks for three wow just like that to start the Lady Eagles off Cochran tries to answer back she cannot Kylie Stewart will try to get the rebound she's knocked down and uh, Mount St. Mary Lady Rockets will get it pass ends to Kinsey and it ends up with a two-point layup Right back to Bailey Robertson and almost had it. A beautiful play from Robertson and Kelsey Cummins. They just cannot connect. And it's going the other way. Lady Rockets have it. Weatherford, 2-3 zone. Harvey Robertson up top. 
Coming, Stewart and Hicks down low. Here's Richard. Back up top to Cochran, inside to Kinsey. Back to Kinsey, outside, here's Young for three. And it is no good. An air ball from number double zero. Kylie Stewart gets it across to Bailey Robertson. Back inside to Stewart, takes it up to the rack, cannot get it to go on the left-handed floater. Young will have it and she'll bring it up all the way, puts a layup up of her own, cannot get it. Alexa Harvey will get the ball tipped out. You hear the crowd yelling, Wolf, as Young comes up behind her, strips the ball, goes out of bounds. It'll remain Lady Eagle ball. Kylie Stewart showing off some handles. Back to Harvey. Stewart screens, looking for the pick and roll. Harvey goes in all the way, cannot get it. Stewart there for the board, puts up a high shot. Harvey's there, puts it back up and in the Bulldog in full effect. Alexa Harvey doing some work in the paint. 33-16 is your score. Lady Eagles leading big here in the third quarter. Far side, Richard. Skip pass, this is Cochran for three. That is good, nothing but net for Cochran. Kylie Stewart trying to get past Young. Will give it to Harvey. Harvey spins around, puts it up, and cannot get it to roll. A beautiful move inside, but could not get it to go. A foul on Mount St. Mary's during the, as they were going for the rebound, so it'll be Lady Eagle Ball, Robertson to inbound. And she will get it to Hicks, back to Robertson for three. Real short. And Robertson did not look comfortable as she set up for that shot. It just, it did not look to be in her flow of the game, which are usually, or what you're used to seeing from Robertson is she is a catch and pop, catch and shoot. She will get it and shoot. She hesitated just a little bit, and that threw her off of her flow. And it was an air ball, but another three from Cochran. So Cochran is trying to get her Lady Rockets back into the game. 33-21 is your score. Kylie Stewart will get the errant pass from Hicks. Robertson far side. Lady Rockets are putting the D up. Here's Harvey. Knocks it down. It is good. The Bulldog from deep. Alexa Harvey for three. Here's Young far side. Again, Weatherford still actually they're moving to a 2-1-2. Here's a shot from Cochran. She's feeling it. She misses it. Long rebound. Young will try to save it. Cannot do it, and it is out of bounds. Lady Eagle ball, and here comes our first substitution of the second half. It is Bailey Pond, Sarah Kirby, and Lyric Nugent. Kylie Stewart. This has been a battle all game long. Young has been all over Stewart. And it is frustrating, Stewart, big time. It's Harvey up top, and they're going to get a foul on Kinsey. And why they're not, I don't understand why they're not calling a foul on Young. It is obvious that she's putting her body purposely, if she's acting like she straight up puts her hands straight up in the air. Errant pass from Kylie Stewart, and Stewart is frustrated. And Harvey is imploring her teammates to pick it up and stop with the sloppy play. And Stewart is really frustrated right now, and I cannot say that I blame her. You can see the battle down low between her and Kinsey. Very physical down low. Kinsey will get it, puts up a three, knocks it down. So here we go, the Mount St. Mary Lady Rockets have pulled back within 12, a nice five from Harvey, and then Kirby gets it, dishes it to Pond, Pond puts it up, 
And Weatherford is back up by 14. A 2-1-2. Two, two. Harvey and Pond up top. Nugent in the middle. Down low is Kirby and Stewart. Cochran, another three, and she knocks. They're going to say it's a two. She was on the line, but Cochran is feeling it from deep. And now they put the press back on, and Young is all over Stewart. And Stewart is making some ill-advised passes. She's allowing the frustration to get to her. And because of that frustration, she is making some ill-advised, I guess is the word you would go with, passes. And that is not the type of player she is. She's usually a very calm and collected type player. But Young has gotten inside of her head. And it looks, I'm going to have to say that Clay Stevens is going to have to look to somebody else to bring the ball up because Young is all, all over her. Here's Kinsey, another three, no good. Rebound, Lyric Nugent going up, getting it, coming down with the board. And she is fouled as she goes up for the rebound. Lady Eagle ball, that'll be the third team foul, I believe it is. On Mount St. Mary's, Weatherford with one. Bailey Robertson has it. A loose zone, Brooklyn Hicks will get it back to Robertson. They pass up, here's Kirby, and she will take the shot. Knocks it through! Oh, it's a three! Knocks it down, it is good! Sarah Kirby with another three! This might be her best game of the season. Playing well is the freshman. 150 remaining in the third period. This quarter has gone quick. 41-26 is your score. And Sarah Kirby with the steal. Bailey Robertson needs some help and tries to get it to Lyric Nugent. She can't. And what the Weatherford Lady Eagles have shown is if you put them under pressure, they will make some poor passes here and there. And we're going to get a timeout if she had nowhere to go with the ball. And Mount St. Mary's will take a timeout. We will see if it is a full or a 30. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back after this More Than Medicine timeout right here, HolyClive.tv. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. My new roads at Cummins. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you. HolyClap.tv, where anything can happen. Post your picks of tonight's game. Hashtag HolyClapTV or hashtag HCTV. And you can win some free HolyClap.tv gear. Just under one minute. Here's Cochran from the top of the lane. Cannot get it. Lyric Nugent with another board. And she will find Bailey Pond, who gets it across to Kirby. Kirby will take it up, puts it up, cannot get it. Pond is there, drops it through. The freshmen are on fire in this ball game. Bailey Pond almost with a interception of the pass. And another three goes up, hits the back of the rim, pops up, hits the backboard, drops through. For Richard, Hicks brings the ball up, gets it to Robertson, back to Hicks for three. A good play, drawn up and ran to perfection. Here's Young, and she will go up. And once again, Young goes into the lane, completely out of control, not looking at the basket, throws the ball up, and they give her a foul. And that, if you allow someone to go out of control into the lane and throw a ball up and get a foul called, 
You should do that all night long. She misses the free throw. 43-29 is your score. Two seconds remaining in the third quarter. So a complete line change. Almost a complete line change. Cummins, Harvey, J.C. Thomas, and Kylie Stewart and Robertson on the floor. Second shot is on the way. It is good. So here's Robertson, has two seconds. And she will let it run out. So 43 to 30, Weatherford 13 point lead. But the Lady Rockets are showing some light, especially from the perimeter. Cochran has been on fire. And also Rashard Kinsey also getting into the act. So a 13 point lead, Weatherford with one more quarter to go. Can they maintain the lead? And can these two freshmen the two freshmen have been on fire. Can they lead the Lady Eagles to victory? We will see right after the More Than Medicine timeout. We'll be right back, HolyClap.tv. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Hi, I'm Mark Tay with Tay with Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you watching here, bench warmers, piscinas, and the point. Thank you for tuning in to HolyClap.tv. Brady Morris alongside with you. We get started for the fourth quarter. Mount St. Mary's will have the first possession. On the court for your Lady Eagles, J.C. Thomas, Alexa Harvey, Kelsey Cummins, Kylie Stewart, and Bailey Robertson. Weatherford starts out in a 2-3 zone. Thomas and Robertson are up top. Cummins, Stewart, and Harvey down low. Young has it for the Lady Rockets, and she will go out of control. And how is that not a walk? How is that not a walk but jump ball? It'll be Lady Eagle possession. She comes flying in. Wow. And Kylie Stewart is flustered. 100% rattled. And Weatherford fans are starting to get upset. They're saying, She's being too handsy. You're letting her be all over her. Kylie Stewart has to be able to dribble the ball and has to be able to, I mean, she has to be able to play the game of basketball. And you can't have somebody draped all over you and play the game. And they are allowing Young to essentially do whatever she wants. <laughs> Harvey will get it. Harvey charges through all the way. Fouled on her way to the rim. Two shots on the way for the Bulldog. She got to half court, put it into second gear, took it all the way to the rack, gets fouled. And she looks to put the lead back to 13, 43-32. Mount St. Mary's has cut the lead back down to 11. Harvey's first free throw, no good off the back of the rim. Uncharacteristic of number four who, if there was one word that I would describe, there are tons of them, clutch is one of them. Second shot on the way, it is good. So Weatherford up by 12 with 6.51 remaining in the ball game. Richard brings the ball up across half court to Cochran near side. They're gonna swing around the perimeter to Young on the far side. Goes inside, this is Briarly, and they're gonna call a foul. And it looks like he's trying to prove something, I'm not sure, but Kylie Stewart is not having it. She has been getting murdered all night long by Young. First shot, no good. And the two freshmen will check in. It's Bailey Pond, Sarah Kirby. Robertson, 
And J.C. Thomas will take a break. Second shot on the way. It is no good as well. Kelsey Cummins gets the board and hands off to Kylie Stewart. Kylie Stewart gets rattled again, but gets it across to Harvey. Down low, this is Cummins, puts it up off the backboard. No good, but right there is Kylie Stewart. In the right place at the right time, gets the offensive board, puts it up, and in Weatherford leading 46 to 32. Remember to stay tuned immediately after the final buzzer for the Hudson Technology Solution player or players of the game. Maybe a bit of a hint there. And the Mount St. Mary's gets the rebound, puts it back up and in. Harvey with numbers. She will get it to Pond. Pond drives to her right. Will go to Cummins, back to Pond. Swings it around. Stewart goes down low to Cummins. Cummins up and in on the left-handed layup. Kelsey Cummins doing work down low. And Weatherford leads again by 14. Timeout, Lady Rockets with 524 remaining in the ball game. Weatherford Lady Eagles are back up by 14. It is a full timeout. We'll take it with them. We will be right back after the More Than Medicine timeout. Get your script from Mike Schmidt. Thanks for watching Holy Clock TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. By new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Meet Chris Hudson. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you after the More Than Medicine timeout. Weatherford leading by 14. 48 to 34 is your score. Mount St. Mary's will have the ball. Just under 520 remaining in the ball game. Weatherford is in a 2-3 zone. They go down low, loses the handle on it, out of bounds. It'll be Weatherford ball on the floor for the Lady Eagles. Bailey Pong, Kelsey Cummins, Sarah Kirby, Bailey Robertson, and Alexa Harvey. Harvey will bring the ball up. Gets it across half court. Gets it to Robertson. Swings it around to Cummins. Finds Bailey Pond to Kirby. Kirby to the left, tries to get it inside to Robertson. Bodies on the floor. Ball is going everywhere. And Kelsey Cummins will get it. And of course, that referee's gonna say that it was out of bounds on Weatherford. Or they're gonna say it's actually Weatherford's ball. Did not see that coming. So here's Bailey Pond. Gets it to Harvey. Harvey directing traffic. Swings it around to Robertson. Robertson down low to Cummins. Cummins back out to Harvey. Harvey drives to her left. Picks up her dribble but finds Pond. Pond to Kirby. Back to Harvey. Harvey drives to her right. Goes to the lane. Puts it up. And it's a block called on Cochran. Tried to draw the foul once again. Did not set her feet. And that will be two shots for Alexa Harvey. First shot is up. It is good. Alexa Harvey puts it up and in. J.C. Thomas checks into the game. Sarah Kirby gets a well-deserved rest. What a game for Kirby so far in this ballgame. Shot on the way, it is good. Weatherford is up 50 to 34, a 16 point lead for the Lady Eagles. Pond and Thomas up top. Cummins, Robertson, Harvey down low. They go inside to Kinsey. Kinsey back out to Cochran, swings it around. Here's Young, 
Back to Cochran, back to Kinsey. Kinsey will fire from the corner. Rattles around, no good. Young gets the board, puts it back up. Fouled in the process of shooting by Bailey Robertson. And that'll be two shots coming from the charity stripe for Mount St. Mary's point guard, Young. First shot on the way, off of the backboard, no good. And once again, the struggles from the line for Mount St. Mary's. Had they not missed as many as they have from the line, this game would be a whole lot closer and actually could be pretty close to being tied. Second shot on the way, no good as well. And again, missing from the line is Mount St. Mary's. And that should have been a foul on Young as, again, she's out of control. Here's Thomas, puts it up, no good. We'll call that a pass to Bailey Robertson. Back to Thomas. Thomas to Stewart. Stewart resets the offense and swings it around to Pond. Pond, near side, dribbles around the perimeter and gets it to Thomas. Weatherford. Throwing it in was Stewart, and she thought she got fouled. And Harvey says no! Absolutely not! Here's Cochran, puts it up, cannot get it. Robertson gets the board. She kicks it out to Stewart, who gets it up to Harvey. Harvey drives in the lane, spins around, puts it up. They're going to call it travel. But they didn't call it travel when Young came in and flew through the air, bounced about 67 times, but that's fine to each their own, right? I'm not a fan of refs, never have been. 2-3 zone for the Weatherford Lady Eagles. Freshman up top, down low. Kylie Stewart says no this time. Harvey drives all the way, puts it up in a charge as she was backing up. There was no way she could have her feet set, but a charge is called going the other way. Sarah Kirby checks in. In the rule book, I mean, it literally states you have to have both feet set, and there was no way she could do that. And on the other end, Cochran knocks down a three. 50-37 is your score. Here's Kirby, far side. Weatherford just needs to play smart. And Stewart once again with an errant pass. And she has had a lot of turnovers in this game. And that's going to be an offensive foul. As Kinsey, a very physical player, uses her elbow. Mount St. Mary's head coach. Nicole Copeland does not like that call at all. Here's J.C. Thomas. Gets it to Robertson. Back to Thomas, and they did a nice job of breaking that two-man press. Thomas up top to Robertson. Down low to Cummins. Here's Thomas to Harvey. Oh, with the cross up and drives to the lane. Alexa Harvey breaking ankles and putting money in the bank. Harvey in full effect tonight. Cochran for three, no good. Harvey with the board will try to put it up. Young knocks it down. Again, she's murdered in the middle of the court and nobody's doing anything about it. And Cochran will put it up and in for two. Robertson gets it just over one and a half to play in the game. 52-39 is your score. Cummins to the middle of the court, out to Kirby for three. No good, long rebound into the hands of Richard. She'll get it across half court, swings it around. Here's Cochran, tries to go inside. Telegraphed by Alexa Harvey. She tries to save it, she cannot. Cochran will put up another shot. And Mount St. Mary's will Retain possession on a wild couple of plays. Here's Cochran again. No good. Rebound. Bailey Robertson tries to get it. Kinsey will get it. Should have been a walk. Turns around. No good. 
And they're going to call Alexa Harvey for the foul. And there has been no continuity to the way that they've been calling this game whatsoever. And Harvey has fouled out. So J.C. Thomas will take a seat. Thought it was Robertson, but instead it'll be Thomas who sits down. They go in, get it to Kinsey up top. This is Cochran. Thought about the three, drives in, puts it up. Too much on it. Rebound Kinsey. She will put it up. Too much on it. Coming down with it is Kelsey Cummins, and she gets fouled, and they're going to call a jump ball. Why are you a referee? Why? And apparently Kylie Stewart said something to the refs, and the refs said, do it again. We're calling the tech. I don't blame her, though. There. And they're finally going to get a foul called. It's about time. And you can hear the applause from the Weatherford crowd saying it's about time. <laughs> Wow. So Kylie Stewart will take a trip to the line, one and one. She makes it. She'll get another one, miss it. They have to get for the rebound. Shot is on the way. It is good. She has another one coming. Weatherford is back up by 11. Mount St. Mary's, again, their troubles from the free throw line has been the difference in this game. Here's a shot, and it is good. So Weatherford has been good from the free throw line. Mount St. Mary's not so much. And again, when it's a 12-point lead, you look back to the missed free throws from Mount St. Mary's, and that's probably going to prove to be the difference. Mount St. Mary's defense has been fantastic. And I believe Kinsey has fouled out. Just over 30 seconds remaining in the game. Weatherford, the 12 point lead and a steal from Bailey Pond. And she defers to Bailey Robertson who gets it to Stewart who will try to get it across half court. She does. Bounce pass to Robertson. And Weatherford. Here's Cummins, 14 seconds. Out to Robertson and Weatherford is gonna let the clock go down. And 2-1, that is your ball game. What a fantastic game from the Weatherford Lady Eagles as they win 54-42, holding off the tenacious defense for the Mount St. Mary Lady Rockets. A good game for the Eagles, but there are some things that they are going to have to be able to build off of. So we will take a quick break and be right back. I'm going to have to get this so we can get an interview with our players of the game, Bailey Pond and Sarah Kirby. We'll be right back. Owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot, started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, I'll give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Hi, I'm Mark Tay with Tay with Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week.
Jackson Thomas, number three, guard. Hunter Selwood, number 13, guard. Aaron Lamb, number five, guard. Trey Biddy, number 15, guard. Garrett Hoffman, 12, forward. Chase Anderson, number 14, forward. Josh Kirby, number two, guard. Tyler Kirk, number 23, center. BJ Ransom, 32, center. Bailey Brewer, number four, forward. Jackson Ryder, number 24, guard. Lance Clayback, number 11, guard. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. My new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Thanks for watching Holy Clock TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Jackson Thomas, number three, guard. Hunter Selwood, number 13, guard. Aaron Lamb, number five, guard. Trey Biddy, number 15, guard. Garrett Hoffman, 12, forward. Chase Anderson, number 14, forward. Josh Kirby, number two, guard. Tyler Kirk, number 23, center. BJ Ransom, 32, center. Bailey Brewer, number four, forward. Jackson Ryder, number 24, guard. Lance Gladback, number 11, guard. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. My new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you with our Hudson Technology Solution Players of the game, the freshman tandem that we have been talking about so much this year. We've seen them come in, we've seen them play some pivotal minutes and have done a few nice things, but tonight was the night. They're coming out party, and I am with Sarah Kirby and Bailey Pond. We'll talk with Bailey first. Bailey, so you're a freshman, of course. We know that. What, what has that experience been like coming up and playing with the older Lady Eagles I talked with Bailey Robertson and Alexa Harvey both, and they said that you guys work your butts off, and that's what they like most about about you, and I assume that's why you're on the court. What has been the best part so far? Just getting to know everybody and having fun and just getting closer and getting learning exper experience. Yeah. So I know that it's probably a little nerve-wracking when you have your first game or whatever. What did the first score feel like? 
this is it. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. No, that's a, that's a that's a perfect example of the way that you two have played. And just watching you guys tonight, I would never have thought the word freshman would not have crossed my mind had I not had a roster in front of me. You guys are part of the team. You're a pivotal part of the team. And tonight was a lot of fun. Where do you want to see this team go this season? And the next three years, where do you guys want to take the Lady Eagles? I want to win the state championships every year. <laughs> every year, back every to back year. to back to back. Well, all right. And we will go to Sarah Kirby next. Bailey, thank you so much. Okay. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. You were on fire from deep tonight. What was that like? Uh, well, I was like, did that just go in? And then <laughs> I just kept shooting it, and it kept going in. So uh, were you feeling it when you were in warm-ups? Was it something you were like, okay, here we go. Tonight's the night. If I get open, I'm dropping it in. Or was it just you were in the flow of the game type deal? I actually did shoot well in warm-ups for, like, the first time all season. So I was like, I'm about to go off. What's been the – hardest moment that you didn't see coming playing up with the older girls and what has been something that's easy that you thought would be a little bit more difficult well getting my confidence up enough to know that i can do it and um, that i can shoot and we can play and um it's easy getting to know like the high schoolers and they're easy to play with and it's fun and i love it so yeah well, you've got some great leaders in the seniors that are on this team. They show you how to do it, how it's supposed to be done. But Weatherford is going to be in good hands with you two and J.C. Thomas as well. You guys are going to be in good hands for years to come, and we look forward to seeing you guys. So for uh, Sarah Kirby and Bailey Pond, tonight are tonight's Hudson Technology Solution Players of the Game, the freshman tandem, Kirby and Pond. We will be right back for the boys game right after this. We'll be right back. Holyclap.tv. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tay with Tay with Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Thanks for watching Holy Clap TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. Find new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Hi, I'm Mark Tay with Tay with Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Thanks for watching Holy Clap TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you here in Rankin Williams Fieldhouse on the campus of Southwestern Oklahoma State University. We are on the Kelly Lips court getting ready for the matchup between the Weatherford Eagles and the Mount St. Mary's Rockets. It should be a good game. We look forward to tonight. The Weatherford boys coming off a huge win against Elk City playing some of the best basketball they've played all year and they look to build upon that win and turn it in to two consecutive. Mount St. Mary's has some size, they have athleticism, they are good at playing the sport of basketball. Plain and simple and we shall see what they do tonight against this Weatherford Eagle defense. Starting for your Weatherford Eagles, we have Tyler Kirk. Jackson Thomas, Hunter Sublett, Josh Kirby, and Garrett Hoffman. For the Mount St. Mary Rockets, we have Martinicic, Honer, Harstead, Hall, and Elix. Now, Elix, number 23, this is going to be the guy, and also Martinicic. I can, I'm saying his name wrong so much. Mar, Martinkic. Martinkic? Mar, we'll go with Martinkic. Those two guys have a lot of size, but who wins the tip? Garrett Hoffman going up and getting it. Saying, hey, I don't care. You can be 6'8 or whatever you are. I'm going to go up and get this ball. So here's Hoffman kicks out to Sublet. Sublet drives to his right. Kicks back out. The ball finds its way to Jackson Thomas. Thomas back to Sublet. Sublet gets a screen and will give to Kirby. I spoke with Jackson Thomas in the hospitality room during the Weatherford Classic Basketball Tournament and uh, said there was a bit of a lineup change with somebody going off in practice. What was it? And he said it was Coach's Price way of waking a couple people up saying you are not owed a starting position you've got to earn one and I thought that was interesting and you see Sublet and Kirby back out on the floor and maybe the awakening has happened as Sublet had a heck of a game against Elk City so we shall see they go inside to Tyler Kirk here's Sublet Weatherford being very patient Sublet with the teardrop floater cannot get it to go and here comes Mount St. Mary's. They get the ball up quickly. Up top, Honer. And he will find Hall. Back to Honer. It's Martinich. Martinich, turnaround jumper. It is up. It is good. A nice jumper from the top of the key. And they are going to put a soft press on. It's a, a man press, it looks like. They come over to trap. And a baseball pass. Sublet thought it was for him. Hoffman goes up. Here's Jackson Thomas for three. Knocks it down. It is good. Jackson Thomas from deep. Three to two. The Weatherford Eagles lead. And here is Hall. A deep shot of his own. And he puts it through, five to three. Rockets lead by two. Here's Kirby. Hoffman, three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, here comes the Rockets. Inside, here's Elix, his first touch on offense. But he steps on the line, going the other way. So what this is, is a bit of a soft press. It's a man-to-man -man press, but when they see an opportunity to trap, they will. Back to Sublet. Sublet will get it across half court to Hoffman. Hoffman thought about the pass, and he will instead defer to Sublet. Sublet kicks it back out. Tyler Kirk baseline jumper way too much on it, right into the hands of Hall who gets it up to Elix, and he will put it up and in. And he made that look easy. Jackson Thomas gets a bat to Hoffman.
Thomas gets it to Subley. Hoffman, another three. This time way too much on it again. Weatherford having some difficulty getting used to this rim. Here's Elix. He will go up, fouled on his way, and they're going to say it was on the floor. Elix wanted it on the shot. Does not get it. 7-3 is the lead for Mount St. Mary's. And it'll be an inbound coming for the Rockets. We're going to get a timeout. Weatherford will take it with them. 30-second timeout. It's a more than medicine timeout. Do not go anywhere. We will be right back here in the first quarter at Frank and Williams Fieldhouse. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. Buy new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you. Mount St. Mary's jumped out to a four-point lead, just over four and a half remaining here in the first period. The Rockets look good. They look athletic. They look like they are making smart passes. Weatherford has had open shots. They've just put a little bit too much English on it as they've airballed a couple now. Up top, this is Hall. Martinkic to Hall. Honer. This is a deep shot from Martinkic. Cannot get it, but a good play by Harstead is he gets the ball and throws it off of a Weatherford player on his way out of bounds. The referees are talking it over and we'll see what they come up with. It'll be Mount St. Mary ball. Harstead up top to Hall. Hall thought about it. Goes inside. Elix from the top of the key. Too much. No good. Rebound Hoffman. Hoffman to Thomas. Kirby, far side corner, dribbles out of it to the top of the key. Tries to go down low to Sublet, cannot get it. Hall's right there, and he will pick up a steal. Martinkic back to Hall from a deep three, and he puts it in, showing off the range, and they are up by seven. Ten to three is your score. Kirby drives baseline, kicks it out. This is Sublet for three. Knocks it down. It is good. Hunter Sublet from deep. And Weatherford cuts the lead back down to four. Inside, Martinkic, and he knocks down the floater. With just under three minutes remaining in the first period. Jackson Thomas, far side, picks up his dribble. And he throws it off of Harstead's toe, and it goes out of bounds. He was trapped, nowhere to go, picked up his dribble. Knew he was dead to rights, made the smart play. Here's Hoffman up top. Kirby trying to find somewhere to go with it. Dribbling to his left, hands off to Thomas. Thomas drives to his right. Will give it out to Kirk to Sublet. Back to Kirby to Thomas, far side corner. Weatherford having a real difficult time finding any open shots. Here's Sublet. Sublet drives in, tries to kick out, loses the handle on it right into the hands of Harstead, and he will take it all the way. Fouled on his way up. Does not get it to go, but still has two shots coming from the charity stripe. Weatherford having a difficult time on offense finding anything open. Mount St. Mary's plays fantastic defense. They get into the lane, into the passing lanes. They're also great on transition, too. This is a tough team. You can see that. 
Weatherford has got their work cut out for him in this ball game. Down by six, 217 remaining. Two free throws on the way. First one is good. Checking in, Jackson Rattery. Hunter Sublet will take a seat after that last turnover. He will probably have a conversation with Coach Price. Second up two on the way. It is good as well. So the lead is now eight. Jackson Rattery comes from a fantastic pedigree. And Eric Rattery, Trent Rattery, both fantastic basketball and football players. And he is one of those guys, just got a shot absolutely rejected by Elix. Elix goes up, they tried the alley-oop, did not get it, tries to put it back up, gets fouled on his way. Jackson Rattery has a great future ahead of him. That kid is so good, works so hard, and he is a very smart player, very smart. And a lot can be said, especially this year's team, for making smart plays. And here comes, and I'm kind of partial biased, B.J. the Bus Ransom is in the game. This kid does work. He's a freshman. The Bus is a freshman. And he does work in the paint. And he will get his first board of the game, not by way of doing work in the paint, but kind of just by way of default. Here's Rattery. Gets it inside to Ransom. Ransom back out to Rattery, and he mishandles it. So I, I probably should not have talked Rattery up so much. Probably put a jinx on him. I'll knock on this fake wood, try to get rid of it. He's normally, that was an anomaly. That is not Jackson Rattery. Weatherford in a 2-3 zone. Here's a deep shot from Martinkic. Goes up. Hoffman with a heads-up play tips it out. Tyler Kirk able to get his hands on it. Hoffman will get it across half court. Gets it to Ransom. Ransom hands it back off to Hoffman. Sets the screen. Here's Tyler Kirk up top. Jackson Thomas drives baseline, will put it up, drops it through. Jackson Thomas does work off the glass, and he will have a chance to convert an old-fashioned three-point play. 109 remaining, 14 to 8 is your score. And he misses a free throw. You are not used to seeing that from Jackson Thomas. End of the game, number three, Taro. Here's Hall, another deep three, and that kid can shoot. Wow. And they're going to get a foul on Taro. it inside to Ransom who puts it up, drops it through. The bus is in effect, down in the paint. P.J. Ransom gets Weatherford back within seven. A three from Elix and it'll knock it down from the far corner. Rattery is in some trouble and an ill-advised pass from Rattery. Elix is right there, Martin catch for three. No good. Hoffman can't get it. Hall for another T3. Whoa, and he was feeling it right at the buzzer. Rattles around, got about halfway down, pops back out. Weatherford has their work cut out for him. Down by 10. We'll be right back for the start of the second quarter right here on HolyClap.tv. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. 
Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tay with Tay with Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you here. Southwestern Oklahoma State University, the Rankin Williams Fieldhouse, the old school field house that used to be the home of the Southwestern Oklahoma State University Bulldogs. They now play in the brand new Pioneer Cellular Center, which is just up the road. So this now is the old home, but a good court, a good environment. This place can get so incredibly loud. Unbelievable when this place is packed. There are not any better environments in small school basketball that I know of. Anyway, Mount St. Mary's with a 10-point lead. They get the ball back. He looks, goes up, fouled on the way, gets it to drop. Foul is on Tyler Kirk. So that is now three team fouls for Weatherford. He looks for the end one. Shot is up, off the backboard, no good, or off the back of the rim, no good. Jackson Rattery there for the rebound. Rattery will bring it up, and he is guarded by McMillan, who is into the game. Here's Sublet. Kicks it out to Ransom. Ransom will give it to Rattery. Rattery drives baseline. Elix is there and pins the ball up against the backboard. As they go, Elix will get it and somehow saves it. Elix tries to get the ball back. Bodies on the floor. Rattery is there, gets the turnover. Here's Hoffman. Hoffman nowhere to go. Finds Sublet. Sublet will get it to Rattery. Rattery gets it across. They've got numbers. Three on two. B.J. Ransom off the backboard. Open it in. Four points for the bus. B.J. Ransom has been big so far for the Weatherford Eagles. 22-12, 10-point lead. Mount St. Mary's is up big in the second quarter. McMillan swings it out. Here's a shot from Taro. Wow. Weatherford passes the ball inbounds, and it goes right back out of bounds. Tip Kirby. Trey Biddy is also in. Garrett Hoffman sits out, so on the floor is Sublet, Kirby, Thomas, Biddy, and B.J. Ransom. Jackson Thomas gets it across to Sublet. They're going to get a foul called on 11. Harston. So Kirby to inbound. He will get to Sublet. Sublet loses control. Jackson Thomas is there. Whether they're playing a bit out of control, they just don't have that one go-to guy that can create a shot. Here's Kirby from deep. Rattles around, knocks it down. It is good. Josh Kirby for three. Inside Elix, and he will believe a foul is going to be called on B.J. Ransom. And it is. That is his first personal. Weatherford's 15 foul. Remember to stay tuned for the Hudson Technology Solution player of the game. And going inside is McMillan. Thought he had Hall. On the far side, throws a no-look pass out of bounds. Weatherford ball. Weatherford still trailing by 10, 25-15. Trey Pitty, far side. 
And I'm not sure what the call was. I believe Trey Biddy might have had the heel of his shoe touching the sideline. So out of bounds, it'll be Mount St. Mary ball. Weatherford 2-3 zone. Thomas and Sublet up top. Biddy Ransom Kirby down low. Here is Harson with a nice shot. It is good. They stretch the lead to 12. Kirby back to Thomas. Thomas faking the pass to Sublet and then will go to Sublet. Sublet drives in, hands off to Thomas. Thomas will go inside to Ransom. Ransom backing down Elix. We'll try to go to Kirby. Harson jumps in the passing lane, swats it out. Ransom will take a seat. Tyler Kirk enters the game. Good job in his time out there by B.J. Ransom. Jackson Thomas gets the inbound pass, hands it back off to Kirby. Kirby driving to his left, finds Thomas for three. Too much on it, no good. Jackson Thomas having a difficult time. And a jam from Elix as he goes up, slams it down, insult to injury. There's Sublet, gets it to Kirby. They go inside to Kirk. Kirk goes up and cannot get it. Elix gets the board. Hands it off to Hall. Hall up to Taro. Taro back to Hall. Here's the shot, and it's good. Wow! Timeout Weatherford. Good grief. Mount St. Mary just lights out from deep in the kid Taro. When you look at him, you don't see a basketball player. You don't see an athlete. But when you see that shot go up, you know it's going down. So we will take a quick more than medicine timeout, and we will be right back after this on HolyClap.tv. Thanks for watching Holy Clap TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. And we are back just in time as Weatherford is set to inbound. Tyler Kirk gets it. He will dribble up the court looking to get rid of it. Gives it back to Kirby. Kirby gets it across half court. We'll get it to Sublet. Sublet goes down low to Kirk, but it goes off of Honer. Hoffman inbound, here's Sublet. Sublet picks up his dribble, has nowhere to go. We'll get it to Kirby. Kirby gets it to Jackson Thomas for three. Knocks it down! It is good, Jackson Thomas from deep. But in that, here's McMillan. Throws it up, tries to save it, but he steps out of bounds. And it'll be Weatherford ball. So Weatherford trying to show a little bit of life here, but this Mount St. Mary's team is impressive from the perimeter. Oh my. Wow. And here is Kirk with a little bit of a move down low. So Weatherford with two good back-to-back -back possessions. Inside, McMillan with the floater. A little bit too flat, and Kirby will be there for the rebound. Weatherford trails by 12. Just over three minutes remaining in the first half. Sublet up top, drives to his right, gets a screen, will take it all the way up, and cannot get it to go. When you got an opportunity like that, you have to convert. And Martin Martinkic cannot connect from deep. There's Sublet, drives in, kicks out Garrett Hoffman. Garrett Hoffman driving to his left. Kirby, Kirby drives baseline, 
floater. Drops in the teardrop floater. And Weatherford brings it back within 10. A little bit of life here in Rankin Williams Fieldhouse. We'll be right back after the more than medicine timeout right here on HolyClap.tv. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. My new roads. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you for HolyClap.tv, where anything can happen. And right now, what is happening is a little bit of life for the Weatherford Eagles as they have had some back-to-back -back good possessions, bringing the lead back within 10. So we will see if they can get a good defense possession with the chance to bring the lead back down to single digits. Mount St. Mary's, here is the shot. It is up, it is no good. Hoffman with a good presence of mind and Josh Kirby is throwing some bows, turning into ludicrous for a second. Hoffman, far side, drives to his right, picks it up, gets it to Jackson Thomas. Jackson Thomas, guarded by Honer. Sublet picks up his dribble, defers to Hoffman. Hoffman guarded by Martinkic. Here's Kirk up top, back to Hoffman. Kirby, whether for being very patient, looking for a good shot. They don't want to force it. This is a big possession for them. Inside, Tyler Kirk gets some room, puts it up, drops it through. Weatherford has cut the lead down to single digits, 32-24. Here come the Eagles. Here's Honer, Dutero. Inside, this is Copeland. Gets it outside to Harstead. Harstead with a nasty crossover. Step back J is no good. Weatherford will bring the ball up on the near side. Here's Sublet, and we're gonna get a foul call on Harstead. And that is the call. That'll be the fourth team foul for Mount St. Mary's. Checking into the game is Hall and Elix. Sublet sets up the offense. Here's Hoffman near side to Kirby. Kirby dribbles around trying to look inside for something, can't find it. He will get double teamed. Hands off to Sublet. 15 seconds. Hoffman to Jackson Thomas. Thomas might look to create a shot here. Gets a screen set. Here comes Jackson Thomas. Step back, Jay. Up and cannot get it to roll. But a decent shot from Jackson Thomas. He wanted that, but Weatherford shows great poise and is starting their comeback. They have brought it down to an eight-point lead. Will they be able to maintain this in the second half? We shall see. And we will be back after the more than medicine timeout for the start. Of the second half here in Rankin Williams Fieldhouse on the campus of Southwestern Oklahoma State University. We'll be right back on HolyClap.tv. Thanks for watching HolyClap.tv. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us. 
Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, I'll give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Jackson Thomas, number three, guard. Under Selwood, number 13, guard. Aaron Lamb, number five, guard. Trey Biddy, number 15, guard. Garrett Hoffman, 12, forward. Chase Anderson, number 14, forward. Josh Kirby, number two, guard. Tyler Kirk, number 23, center. BJ Ransom, 32, center. Bailey Brewer, number four, forward. Jackson Ryder, number 24, guard. Lance Clayback, number 11, guard. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. My new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Thanks for watching Holy Clock TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, I'll give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Jackson Thomas, number three, guard. Under Selwood, number 13, guard. Aaron Lamb, number five, guard. Trey Biddy, number 15, guard. Garrett Hoffman, 12, forward. Chase Anderson, number 14, forward. Josh Kirby, number two, guard. Tyler Kirk, number 23, center. BJ Ransom, 32, center. Bailey Brewer, number four, forward. Jackson Ryder, number 24, guard. Lance Clayback, number 11, guard. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. 
Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. Buy new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Thanks for watching Holy Clock TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you know, give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate with Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Jackson Thomas, number three, guard. Hunter Selwood, number 13, guard. Aaron Lamb, number five, guard. Trey Biddy, number 15, guard. Garrett Hoffman, 12, forward. Chase Anderson, number 14, forward. Josh Kirby, number two, guard. Tyler Kirk, number 23, center. BJ Ransom, 32, center. Bailey Brewer, number four, forward. Jackson Ryder, number 24, guard. Lance Gladback, number 11, guard. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. Buy new roads at Cummins and Weatherford. Thanks for watching Holy Clock TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Uh, my dad was a crop dusting pilot. Started in the early 70s with my uncle's business. The diversity of crops here is just uh, you know, unbelievable. God's blessed us today and we're still here in 2016. We've been successful and uh, you will know, give him all the credit for that. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate with Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Jackson Thomas, number three, guard. Hunter Selwood, number 13, guard. Aaron Lamb, number five, guard. Trey Biddy, number 15, guard. Garrett Hoffman, 12, forward. Chase Anderson, number 14, forward. Josh Kirby, number two, guard. Tyler Kirk, number 23, center. BJ Ransom, 32, center. Bailey Brewer, number four, forward. Jackson Ryder, number 24, guard. Lance Gladback, number 11, guard. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get started in the second half. Weatherford has the ball on the floor for your Eagles. Jackson Thomas. Wow. Out of bounds. Jackson Thomas, Josh Kirby, Tyler Kirk, Hunter Sublet, and Garrett Hoffman. On the court for the Mount St. Mary Rockets. We have Martinkich, Honer, Hall, Elix, and Taro. Here's a shot from deep from Martinkich. It is no good. Hunter Sublet gets the board. 32 24 is your score. Weatherford down by eight. They've been down by much more, but they cut it down to a single digit lead late in the second quarter. They look to build off of that here in the third period. Jackson Thomas drives in, fakes it, gets it to Kirk, who puts it up, cannot convert on the point-blank layup. Chance to bring it within six. Up top, Martinkic, here's Taro, gets it inside to Hall, down inside to Elix. Elix goes up, fouled on his way, rolls around. Basketball gods say yes, let it drop. It does, and he will have an and-one opportunity coming up from the free throw line. Remember to stay tuned for a Hudson Technology Solution player of the game. Our girl, our Lady Eagle Hudson Technology Solution players of the game, the freshman tandem in Bailey Pond and Sarah Kirby. Congratulations to them, good interview. Make sure you look for that interview on Facebook after tonight's game should be up some point tomorrow or the next day and we will have that up for you to watch and share with family and friends. Here's a fast break opportunity. Elix gets it after the nice pass from Honer as he's diving out of bounds. 37-24 just like that. They are back up by 13 and a behind the head pass. And we're gonna get a foul on the floor and that will be foul on Honer, and that will be Mount St. Mary's first team foul. Thomas will get it into Sublet. Sublet picks up his dribble. Yeah, he will find Josh Kirby near side. Kirby drives to his right, gets it to Hoffman. Hoffman. Jackson Thomas, Jackson Thomas drives to his left. Back to Kirby, Weatherford trying to be patient to get a good shot inside, Tyler Kirk. Kirk turns around, gets rejected, but right there is Garrett Hoffman and Weatherford will have another chance. Here's Sublet inside, Tyler Kirk. Goes up again, and this time it's a wild shot. Tyler Kirk is getting dominated down low by Elix. Elix goes up, fouled on the way. Two shots coming for number 23, Elix. First shot on the way, it is good. We're going to get a timeout from Weatherford. It is a full timeout. So we will be right back after the More Than Medicine timeout. Get your scripts from Mike Smith. We'll be right back. Holyclap.tv. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Thanks for watching Holy Clap TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Here at CJ Southwest Tires, our goal is customer service. Get a free alignment, lifetime rotate and balance, and flat tire repairs when you buy four tires. Walk-ins are always welcome, especially when you need your oil changed. That's CJ Southwest Tires on Main Street. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Do not forget to get your tires at CJ Southwest Tire, one of our partners that has been with us since this football season and even 
last year's basketball season. You need your oil change. You need anything done. You see CJ Southwest tires. Second shot for Elix is good. Coming out of the timeout, 39-24, 15-point lead now for the Mount St. Mary Rockets. Sublet got away with a bit of a carry there. Driving to his right, and they're going to get Elix for a foul. Elix looks to his coach and says, what am I supposed to do, just fall or what? And so Mount St. Mary's thought it was a charge. Referees thought different, and it's Weatherford Eagle ball. Sublet drives to his left, kicks out to Hoffman. Josh Kirby thought about the three, drives in. Sublet for three. Knocks it down. It is good. Hunter Sublet for three. 39-27. They cut it back down to 12. Here's Hall. And you've got to be very careful with Hall. He has knocked down two very deep threes. I mean, very deep, like J.J. Reddick, Jimmer Fredette type threes. Here's Honer. Trying to look inside to get Helix. He finds him. Helix turn around. Left-handed floater is good. Hoffman will bring the ball up for the Eagles. Taro is all over him. Here's Sublet. Far corner. Dribbles out, back around top, and gets it to Jackson Thomas. Inside to Kirby. Kirby with the baseline. Jay is blocked by Elix. And Martinkic is down low, and he gets fouled after the rebound, and it'll stay Mount St. Mary's ball. Checking into the game, Jackson Rattery and Kirby will get a break. 41-27, 4-0-1 remaining here in the third period. Thanks to those watching at Benchwarmers. Casinas in the point. We appreciate you guys. Here's Hall, Martinkic, and here's Taro. Taro thought Hall was cutting, but Hall fakes the cut, steps back, little miscommunication, ball goes out of bounds, and it'll be Weatherford Eagle ball. Jackson Rattery will bring the ball up for the Eagles. With the cross-up, Jackson Rattery goes in, puts it up off the glass. Jackson Rattery with a great shot. Here's Honer to Taro into the far corner. This is Elix. Shot is no good. Hall goes over the back, and it'll be Eagle ball. So here's Rattery, guarded by Martinkic. Rattery drives right, guarded by Elix. Goes in, kicks out to Sublet. Sublet back to Rattery. Here's Hoffman to Thomas. Thomas guarded by Honer. Sublet, guarded by Taro. Hands off to Rattery. Back to Hoffman. Hoffman drives to his right, tries to kick to Kirk. Kirk mishandles the ball. Here comes Elix, drives all the way down, puts it up. Fouled on the way. Cannot convert, but two shots coming for Mount St. Mary's and their big man Elix. First shot on the way, and it is good. Wow, that paused on the rim for about a half a second and then decided to drop down. Trey Biddy, B.J. Ransom into the game. Kirk Sublet will get a rest on the bench. Honer also comes out, and Harston will come in for Mount St. Mary's. Elix, second shot on the way. It is good as well, 43-29, 2.34 remaining in the third period. Weatherford trails Mount St. Mary's. Here's Hoffman. 
Jackson Thomas from deep. Knocks it down. It is good. Jackson Thomas from Thomas, Oklahoma. Good grief. That was deep. B.J. Ransom pulls down the board. Weatherford is within 11. Another chance to bring within single digits. Here's Rattery. Biddy for three. Not enough on it. You come off the bench, and it's always scary to see their first shot go up. Here's Taro, and he misses his first three of the ball game. Here's Brattery. Tries to go inside to Ransom. And they're going to get Elix for a foul. And Tim Price is up in Rattery's face saying, come on, man. Tim Price is a good coach. He uses each and every moment to coach his guys. Telling Rattery what he did wrong. And then telling him, hey, it's all right. Go get him. I believe in you. Here's Rattery wide open. Cannot get it. Rebound, loose ball. And they're going to call a foul on B.J. Ransom. There's Hall. Martinkic drives in, top of the key. Here's the jumper. Nice jumper. The top of the lane. 45-32, just under a minute here in the third period. Weatherford trying to claw back in this and give themselves a chance down the stretch. Hoffman to Thomas for three. Off the front of the rim, no good. Elix with the board. Just over 30 seconds. Here's Hall for three. Off the front of the rim, rebound B.J. Ransom. And he will get it to Rattery. Rattery gets it across half court. Here's Hoffman. Hoffman drives to his right. Step back jumper. Off the front of the rim, no good. It looked good from here. Right there is Jackson Rattery with the good play. Rattery drives in and cannot finish on the amazing move to get into the lane. Just couldn't finish. Inside, and the jam goes down from Elix. A punctuation mark at the end of the third period. We will be right back after a more than medicine timeout. Get your scripts from Mike Schmidt. They are more than medicine. We will be right back after this. The Chevy Silverado's got you and your commercial truck needs covered, and that's no accident. Based on the test that we ran today, it's clear that the roll-formed high-strength steel bed of the Silverado is tougher than the aluminum bed of the Ford F-150. My new roads are coming. Meet Chris Hudson, owner of Hudson Technology Solutions. He's no ordinary man. He's got long hair, can climb towers, and connects Western Oklahoma to that thing called the internet wirelessly. Call today and get connected with Hudson Technology Solutions. Hi, Connor here to show you around Swasu and why we love it here. Well, your friends are more like family. The small class sizes, 100 fields of study, and a nationally recognized pharmacy college. Swasu, the focus is you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you as we get ready to start the fourth quarter here at the Rake and Williams Fieldhouse on the campus of Southwestern Oklahoma State University and Kelly Litch Court one of the greatest not only lady basketball players to come through Southwestern, but one of the best basketball players in general. Kelly Litch went on to be part of the athletic department here at Southwestern and has left quite a legacy here at Swosu. The focus is you. The Bulldogs have moved on to greener pastures as they now play in the beautiful Pioneer Cellular Center. But the Rankin Williams Fieldhouse is still around for practices and some intramural games. And now 
Thank goodness Weatherford has this option after the pipes burst in their home court. Sublet gets a steal. He'll bring it up. They've got to have a sense of urgency. This is a huge lead, 15 points. Ransom up top. We'll give it to Sublet. To Rattery. Rattery is trying to make up for that missed layup and a nice play from Sublet, but cannot hang on to it. Goes right into the hands of Martinkic, and he puts it up and in. 49-32 is your score. Seven minutes remains. Stay tuned after the final buzzer for Hudson Technology Solution Player of the Game inside, P.J. Ransom. Puts the ball on the floor, puts it up off the glass, cannot get it. His first missed shot of the ball game. Here's Hall, Harstead, Tarot. This is he Elix, and he cannot get it. Josh Kirby with the rebound. Rattery up top. P.J. Ransom to Sublet. Sublet drives to his left. Step back, Jay. Up, no good. Right into the hands of Taro. Here's Hall. He will take it up, and he is fouled. No good. But two free throws coming for Hall, and they look to increase this lead to what is getting close to 20. So they call an intentional foul on Jackson Rattery. Saying, so what that means is saying that he did it on purpose. Out of frustration, there's flagrant, there's intentional. But this will give them three free throws. First shot on the way. It is good. He has another one coming. Second shot. That is good as well. And they will maintain possession. I believe that's what it is on the intentional foul. Rattery will come out of the game and into the game is Lance Gladback who saw couple of starts during the uh, Weatherford tournament. Hall goes up, puts it in. And we've got a timeout. Weatherford, it's a full timeout, more than medicine timeout. We will be right back after this. 5.55 remains at the ball game. Weatherford trails by 21. Hi, I'm Mark Tate with Tate Home Inspection. I'm located here in Weatherford, Oklahoma. If you're going to be buying a home, you need to give me a call for your home inspection. I will thoroughly inspect your home and give you peace of mind. Call me. I work six days a week. Thanks for watching Holy Clock TV. We hope you're enjoying the live stream. Our network offers advertising services to local businesses and provides entertaining programs in a fresh, new way. If you're in need of any of our services, contact us today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Brady Morris alongside with you. Just under six minutes remaining in the ball game. Weatherford trailing by 21. They had once gotten within eight, and this has been a story that has been written a few times this year for the Eagles. They can come back, they fight back, they claw back, they fight hard, they play hard. But in the end, it's not quite enough, and they find themselves down in a deep, deep hole against Mount St. Mary's. Kirk backs him down. Turn around, Jay. No good. Sublet fights for the rebound and doesn't give up on it. Gets his way to the ball. Dumps off to Kirk, who kicks out to Gladback. Gladback back to Sublet for three. Knocks it down. It is good. Hunter Sublet for three in the far side corner. 53-35. Weatherford trails. 
There's Honer. Guarded by Gladback. Martinkich. Hands off to Harsted. Harsted gets into the lane. Step back, Jay. Not enough on it. Rebound, Kirk. Hands off to Sublet. Sublet will bring it across half court with just over five minutes to play. Here's Gladback. Gets it inside to Kirk. Kirk puts it up and gets it to roll. So finally, Kirk is able to get something to drop down low. He's been hounded all game long. Finally getting one to drop. Here's Hall from deep. No good. Rebound Sublet. Jackson Thomas goes inside to Kirk. Martinkic is right there. Outlet to Hall. Hall brings it up. He will go in. Floater is good. Wow. What a beautiful play. Here's Sublet. If you love basketball, you love that shot. That was pretty. Sublet kicks out Jackson Thomas. Jackson Thomas to B.J. Ransom for three. Off the front of the rim, no good. Look good. Just didn't have enough on it. Here's Martinkic, kicks back. Cross pass. And here's Hall again for three. No good. Got about halfway down and popped back out. Sublet will bring the ball up. Now under four minutes to play. Sublet doing everything he can to get the ball to Jackson Thomas. <laughs> And they call a foul on <laughs> Jackson Thomas. What was that? If I've ever seen a ref trying to get attention in my life, it was that right there. Must not be getting enough attention at home. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Here's Honer up top, kicks around. This is Terrell for three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, Gladback. Kicks to Rattery. Rattery brings it up across half court. Here's Biddy. Biddy thought about the three, kicks back around to Rattery. Rattery sets up the offense. Just over three minutes to go. 55-37 is your score. Ransom kicks to Rattery. Rattery near side. Back to Gladback, who puts it up. Nothing on it at all. Air ball out of bounds. That'll be rocket ball. Here's a shot from Harstead. No good. Rebound. Chase Anderson is into the ball game. This is Ransom. To Rattery. Rattery with the nice cut inside and a great move. And once again, cannot finish. And he has got to keep his emotions in check. He is wearing his emotions on his sleeve. He is a great player with an unbelievable amount of potential as he is just a freshman. So there is no telling where this kid can go. There's a timeout. We'll stay right here. Line change. And the Mount St. Mary starter get a bit of a standing ovation from the sparse crowd that they've brought with them. Aaron Lamb is into the game. So, I mean, Jackson Rattery has such, such potential. He's got to learn to keep his emotions in check. As you saw, got him in trouble with the intentional foul, but man, the ceiling, the upside for this kid is so high. And of course, the pedigree that he has, we've already mentioned Trent Rattery, Eric Rattery, both former Weatherford Eagles who were fantastic. Eric Rattery, great basketball player. Trent Rattery as well, but his forte was obviously football as he went on to play at the University of Oklahoma. So he's got some shoes to fill, but with what we've seen so far in his young career, He's going to be able to fill him. 
Just got to refine some of those intangibles, and he will be good to go. That is for sure. And there's a three from deep from Cooper. So both teams are unloading their bench with just over a minute to play. 60 to 37 is your score. Vitti loses the handle on it, saves it, gets it to Gladback. Gladback to Rattery. There's Aaron Lamb. Drives in, got away with a carry, and somehow got it up towards the goal. No good. Biddy fighting for it. Ball is loose. Mount St. Mary's will get it back. McMillan with the ball. 30 seconds, and looks like they're going to let it play out. And Weatherford is not going to 15 seconds. And Weatherford starts some defense. Here's McMillan up top. Two seconds, one second, and that is your ball game. Again, Weatherford falls to Mount St. Mary's, a great ball club, and they have Good season ahead of them, I'm sure. 60 to 37 is your score. Mount St. Mary Rockets come away with the win, and Weatherford will look to bounce back as they play Clinton on Thursday. Our player of the game, number 32, BJ Ransom. And unfortunately, in a loss, we will not be getting an interview as we will allow Coach Bryce to coach his players and keep it focused on the game. And hopefully on Thursday, they will come away with the W against their rival. So for Dustin Tate, I am Brady Morris and our whole HolyClub.tv team. We thank you for tuning in. And Holly, I'm coming home. <laughs>